Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's Mike here. Super busy day. I've been packaging up uh, for a couple hours now, just merchant filling toys. It's craziness. Sometimes you list these toys, they sell instantaneously. But uh, going to keep busy today. Package up orders, that's for sure. I'll show you guys here in a few what I sold um, on eBay, Etsy, and Amazon. And uh, I'm assuming at some point I'll be out hunting for more toys. <laughs> right? It's tis the season to go crazy. Okay, moving on to some Amazon. Sold this uh, Offspring Smash cassette tape. This came out of that storage unit that I recently purchased. This sold for $7.99. Here we've got, uh, let's see, the Devil's Reign DVD. This came out of that $9 Goodwill disc-only lot. And uh, Devil's Reign ended up selling for $7.92 disc-only. And the last one is Werewolves on Wheels. Again, came out of that lot there. This sold for $7.24. Package this stuff up amongst the, the, the growing pile of merchant filled toys I have here. Uh, we're gonna work eBay and Etsy next. And just, just staying busy. Ship, 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 ship. List, 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 list. Moving on to some Etsy's. We've got this uh, troll baseball number one fan doll with the little sunglasses there, Mr. Joe Cool. Got a little mark right there. Um, but overall, this one sold for $10 shipped. Here's a cool little score. This is a U.S. Postal Service Express Mail Next Day Service. Vintage mesh trucker snapback hat. Actually, you know, got the licensing here. So really cool looking hat here with the bald eagle. And it's got some towers and buildings. Pretty neat. And this sold for $30 shipped. Slapped it over here. And last Etsy item for today is a REO Speedwagon. You can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. <laughs> Ariel Speedwagon there. Check out the cool vintage t-shirt right there. That's cool. Little Ariel. And this sold for $8 shipped. So I'm going to pack this up. I think I've got one eBay order. Um, we'll see, though. Okay, last item here is from eBay. This is a Got Crabs Joe's Crab Shack t-shirt. And uh, this came out of that recent storage unit. There was about... I don't know, a couple hundred t-shirts. I typically wouldn't pick this stuff up, honestly, if it was at a thrift store, even if it was a quarter. But there was a bunch of shirts there that I plan on uh, just seeing if I can get any money for them. If I can't flip them in the 60 days, I'll just end up donating them or something like that. But this one sold for $9.75. It's a size 2XL slash maybe 3XL. It's pretty big. Uh, so $9.75 shipped. Then came out of that storage unit. Doesn't matter what you're selling as long as you're making money, right? Well, since I'm here, okay. Before we go into Goodwill, we're hitting Joanne Fabrics. Anthony's got to pick up some supplies here. But uh, if you've never been to one of these stores, go check it out. There's some opportunities in here with some toys and some arts and craft stuff. So, uh, got a couple goodies, a couple goodies. Then we're gonna go into Goodwill. Goodwill, let's go check her out. All right, so nothing really cool in the Goodwill. I'm gonna go ahead and get some groceries, get some food, and maybe some other little digs. Okay, so let's go over here. Might as well stop and see what the old pawn shop has to offer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. All right, they're smoking crack in there at those prices. Oh my God, they won't even negotiate either. Come on, bud. Come on. Pretty nuts. They can wait. So USA Pawn, shame on you for those crazy prices. All right, let's check out what they have at the Dollar General. Dun, 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 
dun, dun, dun, dun, dun, dun, dun. Oh, this place has been picked over pretty good. Not finding many deals here. Here's a little tip. Look for these adult coloring books. Done pretty well with those in the past over at the dollar store. Found something now. Check this out. Ranked $1,442. $25. Only two sellers. $18. There it is. Ten. It's a ten spotter, boys. Ten spotter. Well, that was worth a trip to the old Dollar General. Snagging up some toys, boys. Snag up some toys. Hey, everybody. Got Kim in the house. Haven't seen her Hi. in a while. So, you know what? With all the hustle and bustle of reselling and finding the hot items and making sure that things are profitable and what should I buy and what should I get and oh my gosh, it's Q4, Christmas season, everybody's buying stuff. I thought it would be important to just remember to take some time out and enjoy your family from every now and again. And I found this old picture. Yeah, how much you get for this picture? Check this out. Look at that old picture. When... Oh my gosh, I can't even remember when that was taken. I mean, Maddie looks to be maybe seven or eight, and Anthony about six. And uh, she's going to be driving in April. And, you know, two more years till she's off to college. Anthony starts high school next year. Old. They are. He's taller we're, we're than getting, me we're now. Getting, we're getting older. We are. So I think that, you know, a lot of people have... Um, a hard time understanding what a reseller does for a living. They think, you know, people who resell, they don't really work, per se, because they're not getting paid by the man and, and all that kind of stuff. And and I think that reselling provides such a great opportunity for you to stay home and to still make money, still support your family, but um, see those milestones that you might miss at, at um, you know, certain certain times in kids lives the first steps the first you know i don't know words the first changing a diaper yeah i don't miss that actually <laughs> i don't miss now, changing now they just talk the diapers back. now they talk back or they want expensive things they do older. want expensive things oh my oh, gosh so cars and laptops and you know all that kind of stuff but you know i think that resellers are one of the few people that are fortunate enough to be able to um, if you can, find a good balance between family life and work life. Anybody can go and do this. This is the great thing. They so can. it doesn't have to be full time. I mean, everybody always talks about, oh, full time sellers. I want to quit my job. You know, I wouldn't just go quit your job mm -mm. to do this. I mean, because it's. Don't. I mean, how many. I mean, we're in, my, we're in the uh, garage right now. Yeah. How many hours do you think I spend in here? I mean, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I think you spend more hours in here than you do in the house. Yeah, to I be mean, it's crazy. With you. Except in the summertime because it's too damn hot. Right. But, <laughs> but what were you saying? No, I, I just was thinking that, you know, it, it's something that daycare was so expensive. Oh, yeah. I mean, we both worked outside of the home, and Mike's always, Mike had been reselling part-time, you know, and and I will fully admit I was not on board with the full-time reselling thing. I'm like, you cannot quit your job. We need the steady paycheck. We need the health benefits, you know, all of that stuff that does go along with working for an employer. Um so he always had done it on the side originally, and I just remember the cost of daycare. It was a thousand bucks. It felt like I was working, like my, what my job was paying was basically to pay for the daycare yeah. that we were having, and you were traveling and that was a, all the time. Yeah, that was, I mean, that was a struggle like early on. It was because we, were, you know, we were both doing our thing, working, and you know, we had, we had young ones, so it was. We had one babysitter that didn't work out. We had many babysitters that didn't work out, yeah. right? But then we're like, hey, we really got to take them, especially Maddie, to you know somebody. And there, there was like a thousand bucks. It was it was nuts. It, so it was ridiculous. You know, but it ended up working out. You know, we we, did. we skipped out on the babysitting. You know, I was, you know, we both made time and everything like that. And there's just the reselling. I mean, I remember starting with the baseball cards. Mm -hmm. I mean, Maddie's That's room, <laughs> like like Maddie's room, her crib. There was a crib. <laughs> And then there was just stacks and stacks and of baseball cards. And the there changing table. There was a table. crib, a changing table, and baseball cards, yeah. and computer desk, and... I think one of her first words were like, Barry Bonds rookie. <laughs> <laughs> so I used to hold her, and then while I'm listing on eBay, you it know? Was, she it was, was one of those kids that had colic, and you could not put this child down. And, you know, we were just kind of taking a trip down memory lane, and, and some of you are, you know don't have babies anymore, you know, your kids are grown or maybe you're they're about our age or school, you know, school age or whatever and 
And some of you are just starting out and you've got the little ones at home and you're going, my God, what's the point of me working? Because I have $10 left after I pay for daycare. Yeah. And it's, it's almost like a trap. It really you know? is. It's a vicious cycle. So you can figure out how to get out of it. To get out of. And once, but once you figure out, you can get out of it when you can make consistent money part time, you know, or just on the side, 10 hours a week mm -hmm. reselling. I mean, you can, as you can know, I mean, I don't have to tell you guys, I mean, you know, you can make some good money reselling here, you know, just finding the right items, mm -hmm. making sure they're flipping it right, markdown manager. But just wanted to share with you guys this stuff. This is the, what it's all about at the end of the day is, is family and uh, being a part of, you know, watching your kids grow up. Right in front of your eyes, you know? Yeah. I mean, this seems like yesterday. This was Wisconsin Dells. It was Wisconsin Dells. And the kids remember that trip so clearly, yeah. and they were so little. And just being able to I think we did a weekend. I'll tell you what. It was the Blackhawks' yeah. first win. It was your birthday weekend. Yeah, I came back that weekend. Yeah. We came back, Crazy. and the Blackhawks won the Stanley Cup for the first time. Yep. Well, in however many years or whatever. So, but. I appreciate you guys watching here. Um if you like having Kim in the video, leave a comment down below. If you relate to what we're saying, leave a comment down below. You know, again, this channel is to to kind of just, one, it's it's to show the stuff that we do, right, that hopefully that you can make money on, maybe relate to what we are as a family and, and raising teenagers, <laughs> you yeah. know. Uh, but we've also been there and, and raised, you know, babies. babies. Oh, can I say it? What? Vlog over. Mm -hmm. Do it. Can I say it? Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time, we're out of here. Peace. Vlog over.